guys and welcome back. Um, I thought I'd just do um, another paranormal reaction. I haven't done one of these in a while because I've been doing a horror game. Um, so this is five scary ghost figures that will bring tears to your eyes. Um, which I probably will. Uh, but we'll jump in and we'll see it's 28 minutes long. So let's just jump in and see how we get on with this. Top 5 Ghosts Caught on Camera The Watts Family So almost a year ago I uploaded a video about the tragic case of the Watts Family and the strange supernatural events that were caught on video by police body cameras after their deaths. Recently Netflix has released a documentary about the Watts Family tragedy oh, I remember that. viewer That's emails it, yeah. have come flooding in. Now, many claim to have seen paranormal evidence in the documentary that I never explained in my last video. And then there are a lot of people who just never saw my previous video about the Watts family case. No, so here's a quick enough. recap before we jump into the all new supernatural evidence. Shannon Watts and her daughters Bella and Cece lost their lives under absolutely horrible circumstances. All at the hands of husband and father Chris Watts. In fact, the details of the case are so grim that I'm not going to go into them here. But if you want to know the full story, you can either simply Google The Watts Family or check out the new Netflix documentary. Now, in this next video, which was taken right after the disappearance of Shannon Watts and her daughters, two female officers from the police canine unit go into the Watts house to investigate the strange disappearance of Shannon Watts and her two daughters. Obviously, this video was recorded before the tragic fate of Shan Ann and her children were known. The footage is 100% real. It is documented police video captured by one of the investigator's body camera. So there's your attic access right there. And do they know here that until they go back? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. What in the world is that? Wow. Did they hear that? Go in there and step on that little blue thing and see if that's where that noise came from. Yeah, it sounded oh. like a kid toy. <laughs> it might. It sort of sounds like it. Something. There was a. I heard it. Did you hear it? I did. Again, I want to point out that all of this footage and the strange EVPs you just heard were captured on police body cams wow, and released amazing. directly to the public. So nothing was tampered with and nothing could possibly be faked. Now, even creepier, one month after the tragic incident in the Watts home, police are called back to the empty house because neighbors report seeing a woman moving around inside the home. Oh. Also, someone had turned on the inside garage lights. When they went inside, police found no one. But some viewers believe they might have caught something else. As a police officer is standing at the top of the stairs, it oh, almost looks as if them? some small shadow peeks out from behind oh. him. Oh my just god. For a second. Oh no. Now there's also another moment caught by police cameras that I did not point out in the previous video. Hey Nudes, um, I just want to let you know I've been watching this documentary that everybody's been talking about. And right here in this room, there's a little girl standing right here playing. She's wearing like an orange shirt and there's another girl. Right there, right there, right there. And there's another one right here, movement. You see her? Right here. See? Oh, yeah. Another girl. There she go. There she is. Okay. Wow. Maybe you can look into it? Now, many people have sent me this clip after seeing it on the Netflix documentary. Some believe that it might show the ghost of one of the little girls caught on camera. But. The real explanation of this clip is something much more explainable. You see, the little girl in this footage is actually the daughter of Shannon's friend, 
Nicole, oh. who reported Shannon missing. The little girl is simply playing in one of the Watts girls' rooms. As further evidence, Nicole and her daughter are seen on the police officer's body cam footage several times during the day that Shannon and her girls were reported missing. So this clip is nothing paranormal. However, there is some new, very odd, and possibly paranormal video that has been getting a lot of attention over the last week. So YouTube ghost hunter Franco TV was traveling through Colorado and decided to stop and pay his respects to the Watts family house. He leaves a teddy bear on the doorstep, putting it with other gifts of condolence left by visitors. He is broadcasting his trip to the house live to his Patreon members, but he has no plans of doing any ghost investigating. Frank is simply paying his respects, but then he catches something, something very, very strange. Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos. This wasn't supposed to be an adventure. It was only supposed to be me going to the Watts house to pay my condolences. I am up to date with what was going on with the whole situation, and I wanted to visit the house and drop off a teddy bear that I had purchased. Um, however, I did decide to bring my live stream with me for Patreon, and something completely unexpected happened upon recording. Now, let's use a thermal imaging camera and seeing what we can see. This should actually be pretty interesting. Hold on, let me put the tan cam away for a second. That's the house through the thermal. This thing is awesome. I think I'm the only one. Ooh, that was weird. Come to move I don't know if that was me, but I think I saw. You know what's weird? Look at the front, the top window to the right. That's last, yeah. There's something moving through the house. That one's the only the one that it looks like there's something behind it. What is it? what is unnerving is that you don't see anything. Look at that. Oh, I am wow. literally getting a heat signature right in front of that window. Like someone's standing there. Alright, so right now this video footage is only just so I could get a high definition footage. Um I'm going to be recording with a different camera on my thermal imaging because uh, unfortunately I can't take the videos off of it. So this is just to show you that both windows are open. That's the window that I was seeing weird movement from. And apparently these two rooms, what I just read online, was the two little girls' rooms. What the hell is that? What is that? What is that? That's Does that look like someone with their head in their hand holding against the window? Look, and it, now it's changing. Wow. There it goes. That's weird. What the hell am I seeing? Definitely moving. Again, this is coming straight from an infrared perspective. That's Look, it looks like somebody else just came in on the far left. This was not supposed to be even a video. It was just a place that I came to visit. However, what I saw on the thermal, I thought would be interesting to show you guys. Um, I did came here to, to drop off a bear. And I actually put the bear over here because it's like a little memorial here. So did Franco TV possibly capture the ghosts of Shannon and her children on camera by accident? Not did the police officers capture footage of the family trying to reach out from beyond? Let me know what you think. You can watch Franco's full video about the Watts family house over on his YouTube channel. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The least amusing park. In Veracruz, Mexico, there is an old abandoned amusement park called Reino Mexico that has a backstory right out of a horror movie. Oh, you see, back in 1985, that. this amusement park was built right over the top of an old graveyard. Like Not surprisingly, many people believe the old abandoned park to be cursed. 
People claim to have seen spirits walking the park grounds. And even creepier, it is said that the park's disturbing old statue of Snow White actually moves on its own late at night. Like In fact, many visitors to the park claim to have caught the Reno Mexico statue blinking, including yeah. this video that went viral back in 2009. Yeah. Others say that the Snow White statue's eyes follow you as you move around the park, as if it's just watching you. Popular Mexican urban explorer and occasional ghost hunter Edgar Hernandez and his friends explored the Reno Mexico theme park on two separate occasions. Over the first two visits, they caught some very creepy and disturbing footage. As soon as the group arrives outside the park, things take a bizarre turn. Something seems to be jumping through the trees. What? Is it the predator? <laughs> Vean, mi gente. ¿Qué fue? Mira cómo está moviendo la rama. ¿Estás grabando, güero? Bueno? Verga, 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 arriba del... ¿Ya viste, güey? Un pájaro. They can't see what it is, but they decide that it must just be a large bird. But whatever it is, it just doesn't seem to reflect light. Graba, güero, güero. After they enter the park, they decide to check out the supposedly haunted Snow White statue in the park's center. And this is when things get truly bizarre. This is the famous one. 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 Cancanieve, que parece que se le sacaron el cerebro los culeros. No tiene, tiene un hoyo en el brazo. Y... La verga, tiene cara diabólica. Cabe mencionar, bandita. Cabe mencionar. Pero a ver. No, no, vete, no, vete la verga. Vete la verga. Yo no aprecio, pero yo A ver, verga, muévete, cara de verga. No, hay que provocarla, hay que provocarla. <laughs> Edder tries to taunt the spirit that allegedly possesses the statue, trying to provoke some sort of movement. But when he gets his wish, he's a bit freaked out. As they continue to tour the abandoned amusement park, Edder and his crew start to see odd mists and shadows. Esa madre, verga. Mira, güey. Mira, güey. Vete a la verga, güey. No te pases de verga, güey. No te pases. ¿Qué es eso, güey? Pues yo qué verga voy a saber. Mira. Güey, pero no huele a humo, güey. ¿Como nieve? Mira. Como pueden ver aquí, está el campo de fútbol. Bueno, no lo pueden ver, mi gente, porque al chile está río. ¡A la verga! ¡No mames, güey! Verga, ¿qué fue? Vete a chingar tu madre, güey. ¿Qué pedo? <laughs> a su puta madre, güey. Había alguien ahí. Oh, they just house or the actual ah, paranormal investigator? No, por Dios, vete a la verga. No te lo juro, güey. Eh, pasaron como... ¿Cuánto? ¿Cinco minutos? Para que me pudiera tranquilizar, les voy a decir lo que vi. Vi a una mujer. Era mujer, silueta de mujer. Aquí parada. Al chile. Now, Edder sighting wasn't caught on camera. So it's easy to simply dismiss it as fake. However... Edder and his crew did record something absolutely chilling that they didn't even realize. The frightening encounter was later pointed out by viewers. Now watch closely as Edder and his team walk through the bleacher seating area, right beside the spot where Edder claimed to see the silhouette of a woman. Bueno, mi gente, aquí estamos en las gradas. No sé, dan ciego yo. La verga, la verga, la verga. Yo nada más veo como que... Pero bueno, mi gente, estamos aquí en las gradas. Did you see it? No. As Edder and his friends walk by the seating area, the figure of a woman seems to be sitting in one of the upper oh. bleachers. Even creepier, as they pass, Edder switches back to his camera view, and in less than a second, the same figure now seems to be seated behind them, now on the complete opposite oh. side of the bleachers. So did Edder Hernandez catch a haunted statue and a full-body apparition on camera in the haunted amusement park? Or... Is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I don't know, but it doesn't seem like 
Corey Davison from Alvin, Texas, explains on his YouTube channel that throughout his childhood and young adult years, both he and his mother experienced bizarre paranormal activity that followed them whenever they moved to a new home. He says that through the years, they witnessed pretty much everything supernatural. They've seen terrifying apparitions, furniture and small objects moving on their own, voices that mimic family members, and even the feeling of being touched by something that just isn't there. One day, Corey decides to try and capture some of the paranormal activity that he has witnessed throughout his life. So he starts to leave random cameras recording throughout his house. And eventually, he captures something truly bizarre. I was in my, my dining room and the, the overhead lamp was moving and <clears throat> I went to get my camera so I could videotape me eating to see if it would happen again. And as soon as, like literally as soon as I hit record, um, this happened. Oh, I think I've seen this. Run, mate, that'd be me. I'd be off as well. So I, I ran upstairs. <laughs> I'm in the back room. Um, like, that's the stairway right there leading downstairs, and I'm, I'm kind of creeped out right now. A chair in Corey's dining room seems to suddenly move on its own. Visibly a little freaked out, Corey walks over and shoves the chair back. But the chair comes sliding back towards him with violent force. Corey is a bit shaken up and just leaves, heading upstairs to his bedroom. Now, you might have seen this single clip on other channels, yeah. but this is really just the beginning of Corey's story. Oh. Because over the course of the next nine months, Corey captures more creepy footage of the strange activity in his house. Wow. Eventually, Corey and his mother have a CCTV system installed in their home and the surrounding property. They immediately start to capture strange activity. <clears throat> All right, so I'm, I'm going to put in the garbage bag in the trash can and the, the door just opens on its own. And the only way to do it is from the clicker on the, the doorway or outside <clears throat> on the little uh, pin pad or by the clicker that is in my mom's car. And my mom's car is not here. One day, as Corey is taking out the trash, the garage door just opens on its own. Now, Corey is a little shaken, but doesn't concern himself too much with this. Probably so After all, step. it could simply be a door malfunction. But what happens a few days later is not so easily explained. All right, so I'm making this video because uh, my mom was doing laundry and uh, she heard the noise outside. So I'm going to show you the video of that, of the occurrence with the noise. So she hears something. Is that best right there? Or is it that, that the camera? So she goes inside to get me. So I, I just came out. Sorry, fast forwarding is kind of messed up, but we, we both have our guns. <laughs> so. I go out and she stays in there. All right, so this is our backyard. There's the shed in our backyard and then little garage area. Uh, and this way is where the, our actual garage is where I walk from. If you look right there, right there. Oh my God. See, I'm, I'm right here. That's the top of my thinning hair head. And there's something walking or whatever the fuck back there and you can see me flash my light and I had been flashing my light everywhere and unfortunately I didn't know oh, I went over there yeah see and there's nothing I didn't see anything while I was there but you can see whatever the hell that is wow but this is me coming back to the garage and we go inside and there's nothing there's nothing that comes this way 
the CCTV cameras catch a creepy white figure lurking outside their home. A figure that neither Corey nor his mother could see at the time. Wow. The apparition only showed up on their security cameras. To this day, Corey still says that all of the footage that he captured was real and 100% authentic. But what do you think? You can check out even more I'll creepy videos of Corey's paranormal experience over on his YouTube channel, Core Sun. And Corey says that hopefully new videos will be coming soon to the channel. Room for one. Popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long and his friend Lao Dai oh, explored the decaying abandoned hotel I remember in the middle guys, of the night. They're live streaming their entire investigation. The now, the hotel has a dark past. It is said that through the years, many guests have taken their own lives while staying in the hotel. But it gets worse. Back in 1985, there was a mysterious uncontrolled fire in the large building. Oh. Hotel guests were trapped inside and many lost their lives in the blaze. Locals began to say that the hotel was, quote, cursed. And so fewer and fewer guests wanted to stay there. Eventually, the hotel couldn't afford to keep its doors open. It closed down and the building was left abandoned. When Xiao Long and Lao Dai are roaming the creepy hotel hallways, Xiao Long gets scared by mm, something. <laughs> that guy just Obviously, him. at first, the guys just seemed to be goofing around. But then things take a very serious turn I'll be scared and get down right anywhere, creepy. In case you fall through the flare. Uh, it's the guy that was in the school. Because he kept swearing and saying that as well. <laughs> Xiao Long and Lao Dai get spooked by a sound and run away. As they retreat, Xiao Long spots some terrifying shape inside one of the hotel rooms. The figure disappears almost instantly, and when they go back to check the room, nothing there. Wow. Now, of course, this encounter could have simply been a strange trick of the light. Either way, they decide to leave. Cut to two months later, and Xiao Long decides to return to the hotel all alone. And I it did not go, go well. This guy's hilarious for shouting at these ghosts. As doors start opening and closing on their own, Xiao Long understandably becomes a little on edge. Hello? He continues exploring the creepy building. What happens next shocks both Xiao Long and his live stream audience. So Xiao Long discovers what appears to be the main hall of the hotel. It's a spacious room with access to multiple hotel floors. But he starts to hear strange sounds coming from all around him. That building cannot be safe to be in. 
Oh. Oh, Tony, Ma! <laughs> Xiaolong is shook from the cascade of frightening bumps and bangs all around him, but he wants to continue and explore the hotel's dark upper floors. And this is when things take a turn toward the horrific. I think that's a really bad idea. This is what Uh, I was going to say steps look like they're falling apart. Look at the chains. Don't go up the stairs. That's a sign. Don't go up the stairs. Oh, <laughs> Surprised this guy's got the heart attack. No, don't go up the stairs. Did you see it? No. The heavy All chains that? holding the stairway begin to shake uncontrollably. But Something even creepier, golden. a pair of pale, ghostly feet come into view, Ooh. dangling lifelessly from somewhere Ooh. inside oh, the hotel's shit. wall. Oh. That's when Xiaolong finally decides to just get out of there. Oh. So, what do you think happened in this creepy hotel? Could the feet belong to the ghost of someone who tragically ended their life inside the hotel? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can check out more of Xiaolong's scary videos over on his YouTube channel, Xiaolong Adventure. The Thing in the Attic. Nuke's top five viewer oh, Santana Altavero reached out to me through email about the strange paranormal activity he's been experiencing in his home. Santana and his wife recently moved into a new house, and everything seemed to be going great. At least at first. But ever since they discovered the home's creepy attic, they begun to hear strange, unexplained sounds around the house, and Santana's dog is exhibiting some very odd behavior. The dog started barking at things that just aren't there, especially focusing his attention on the hallway leading to the attic door. Definitely see something. One night, Santana hears strange sounds coming from the attic. He climbs the stairs, but is unable to pull himself up through the small attic door to find the source of the sound. So thinking on his feet, he starts recording with his phone and raises it up into the attic. Oh, that's not a good he pans idea. the camera around to see if he can spot the source of the strange noises. When he checks the footage later, he is shocked by what he finds. Oh god, why is that? <laughs> Did you see it? No. A very small white figure seems to be hiding in the darkness. I thought that was a, a few seconds later, the camera pans back, and the figure is gone. So what do you think I this could be? Thought that was a is it something paranormal? <laughs> is it some small critter running around the attic? Or is it just a strange trick of the light? The you pigeon! Decide. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter for channel updates and other... Well guys, that was uh, Nook's top 5 ghost videos that will bring tears to your eyes. That wasn't so bad. Um, the first bit was really good, really interesting. I need to watch that documentary on Netflix. I have been uh, planning to watch it, but um, I've been quite busy. Um, so I'm definitely going to watch that. That's intrigued me now. Um, if you want to watch this actual episode of Nook's top 5, I will link it down below so you can go and watch it if you want to watch it yourselves. If you enjoyed the video, um, please leave a like. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye!